Tuesday, April 27th, or Thursday, April 27th. Okay. All right. I'm going to explain to you guys what the width reflection stuff means, okay? All right. A little review. A little review. What's up? No. Okay, here we go. Uh, no, yeah, get it out. Get the homework out. That's actually a good idea for right now. And the people just didn't show, that's on them. So let's go over the 9-1 now. And the people aren't here, that's on them. So while you're getting that out, I'm going to explain something to you guys, okay? I'm going to mansplain you. No, I'm kidding. Uh, that's actually what teaching math really is. Like, every time I, like, try to explain something to someone, they say I'm being condescending, and then when I do it in math class, people are like, good job. I'm just like, I'm doing the exact thing. Anyway, um, so let's say I have a bookshelf, right? I have eight spots on my bookshelf, and I have eight books. Book one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, okay? How many different ways can I arrange my eight books? Eight factorial, right? I've got eight choices for the first one. Seven for the second one, right? Eight times seven times six times five, okay? okay? Let's say I've got eight books. I've got eight books. Okay? Let's say I have like seven Harry Potters, and then like I have an extra bonus book, okay? Not a Harry Potter fan, but. Okay. I just want to fire shots. I like Harry Potter. Okay? Um, so I've got eight. Spots. Now it's a circular bookshelf. I'm arranging them in a circle, okay? So I've got how many choices for the first spot? Eight, right? So it's eight factorial, but I need to take into account what now? Since I'm arranging them in a circle. Um, so yeah, I can't pick this up. We're not picking it up yet, okay? But right, if I take all the books and I rotate all of them one spot, that's not a new arrangement. So to account for that, I have to divide by that just that eight. Okay, that makes sense. So that's why it ends up being seven factorial. Yeah, so eight factorial is eight times seven times six times five times dot 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 divided by eight, the eight's cancel. Yep. All right, I realized yesterday during B period at like a really random moment why the reflection thing happens. That's just how math works. All right, I realized, I realized why you have to divide by two when you have reflection, okay? Okay. So I'm going to talk to you guys now about a bracelet. Okay, I have a bracelet. I'm going to try to make this as simple as possible. My bracelet is going to have four beads in four different spots on it. Okay, I'm going to have a blue. Let's say I have a. Um, actually, let's talk about this. Right, I've got to put four beads. Right, what are the total number of like without taking the reflection into account? What are the total number of ways I can arrange the beads? Four. Maybe three factorial, right? Because four factorial divided by four, okay, equals three factorial, right? So that's without taking my reflection into account. So if you're hanging out with your friends at a bonfire this summer, or you're sitting around like in a circular table at Culver's, or Chick-fil-A, or Cane's, right? You want to? If you guys just get bored, guys, let's count the number of ways like we can sit at this table. <laughs> so funny. Uh, I, I want to show you guys something, okay? I want to show you something, okay? A little magic trick, right? So let's put my blue bead on this spot. Let's put my orange bead right here. Uh, let's put my red bead on the top. Let's put my green bead on the right. Right? Okay? So this is one way I can arrange my beads, right? All right? Here we go. Here we go. Okay, I'm going to put another way up here. Okay, let's say instead I put the red in the same spot, the orange in the same spot, but I'm going to flip flop the blue and green. Blue on the right, green on the left this time, okay? Okay, this is a bracelet. I can pick my bracelet up and spin it, okay? That means these two arrangements are the exact same. Okay, does anyone see why? Yep. I can take my bracelet and just flip it around like a pancake, and I get the, this exact same arrangement, okay? Does that make sense? So every single arrangement is going to get buddied up with one that's identical to it. So when I have reflection, which means when I can pick something up and flip it over, 
I have to take my answer and divide it by 2 to account for that. So questions, comments, concerns. Is that better? Yes. Yeah, just 5 by 2. So that's a more like physical under explanation. Does that make sense now? Yeah. yeah. Okay, good. I knew it. There we go. All right. I'll take attendance now that we have more people. Uh, so get the homework out, 9.1. We have some questions on it. Earth Alberto. Where? Okay. Uh, um, it's the all out Irish day of giving. Tell you. Really? I bet. She got pied in the face? <laughs> Wait, did these teachers like sign up beforehand to get pied? <laughs> okay. I should. I didn't know about it, so I saw the email and I was like, I did not like volunteer to get pied in my workplace. I'm calling OSHA. Uh, the occupation, uh, occupational self safety and health administration. Anyone have a job? Where do you work? What's that? Dog bakery. The dog bakery is legally obligated to supply you with material safety data sheets for your workplace per OSHA guidelines. So, so any like cleaning chemicals? Do you like do you clean the dog bakery? Do you have like cleaning chemicals, right? So there's like all the safety stuff for that cleaning chemical has to be like in a book, just to keep the workers safe. Thank you, Woodrow Wilson or whoever did that. Thank you, FDR. I don't know. So you would have gone by? Yeah, I would have. Aww. Maybe you could just go down there and pass here. Yeah, it's not too late, Mr. Or just go down there and be like, who wants the money? <laughs> who wants the money? <laughs> no money. <laughs> no money. <laughs> All right, um, yeah, so yeah, donate money so they can raise teacher pay or something. No, I'm kidding. They're definitely not raising <laughs> <laughs> The teacher pay here is very comparable to public school, so I'm not complaining. Um, okay, yeah. Cool. All right, let's do a quick uh, Glory B, since I'm feeling a little better. <laughs> glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Questions on the homework? It's like 15 minutes. Yeah. 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 All right, so you got four boys and six girls, okay? You got four boys and six girls, yay. Okay. Four boys, six girls. Answer key says 30 times 8 factorial. All right, so here's what's going on. You're going to line them all up, and you have to have a girl on each end, okay? So here's how this works. So I'm going to pick, I have four girls, or six, sorry, six girls. I have six girls. I have to choose two of them to put on the end, okay? So how many different combinations of girls are there for the ends? Do you know how I do that? Hint, how many combinations are there? 
I do six choose two, six. This is how I would think of this, six C2. I have to choose two of the six girls to put on the end, right? Okay. I have 10 spots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. What I need to do with that number, right? So I'm gonna have, let's say I have girl one on the front end, girl two on the second end, okay? So I took into account the number of all the combinations of girls I can choose. Okay. What I, what I also need to take into account is how many different ways are there to arrange these two girls? Two, right? I can do one, one on here, two on the end, or I can do two on the front end, one on the back end, okay? So I'm gonna multiply that by two, all right? And then with my remaining eight students, how many ways are there to order them in the remaining spots? Eight factorial. Eight factorial, okay? So six choose two, do you guys remember the formula for that? What? Oh, I can do calculator, but do you remember the do it by hand formula? Okay, so it's the first number factorial divided by the second number factorial times in parentheses the two numbers subtracted from each other factorial. So we have six factorial times two times eight factorial. So, yeah, boom, those cancel. So I have six factorial times eight factorial divided by, what is that, four factorial? Oh, yep, I got it, good. Okay, do you guys remember how to simplify this? Six factorial divided by four factorial? So yeah, I'll, I'll write this out a little better. So I'm gonna read, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, do you guys want me to write that higher? Write that higher. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna rewrite this right here. But I'm gonna actually write out, so instead of six factorial, I'm gonna write six times five, times four, times three, times two, times one. Then I have my times eight factorial, I'm just gonna leave that there. On the bottom, four factorial, I'm gonna write that as four times three, times two, times one, okay? Boom, 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 okay? 30 times 8 factorial. And that's the answer. Do you guys see how I thought about that one? So pick two girls. Pick the two girls for the ends, okay? Take into account that you can arrange the two girls in the ends a certain way, and then how can you arrange the rest of them, okay? That's a tougher one. Right? Combinatorics, it separates the adults from the children. Okay? Uh, and then the last one you said was really difficult. Okay. So we got eight boys and six girls in the math club. Eight boys and six girls in the math club. Anyone ever seen uh, Mean Girls? Really? Show of hands. Okay. All right. Where did uh, Aaron Samuels go to college? If anyone remembers. Where? He went to Northwest. Yeah. <laughs> Literally, I'm so elite. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Literally going to Aaron Samuel's alma mater from Mean Girls. I'm literally going to live in the same city as Katie Heron. Sorry. <laughs> it's so funny. But yeah, they have the math club in there, right? They want to get jackets, so they get Kate. Anyway. Uh, how many different leadership? So I'm going to know what's going to happen. There are eight boys and six girls in the math clubs. Yep. Okay. How many different leadership committees consisting of four people can be chosen? So what's my total? It's any any four any four person leadership committee from this group. How many total people are there? Fourteen, right? Okay. I've got to choose four of them. Okay. The number of ways you can pick four people out of this fourteen person pool is fourteen choose four. 14, choose four, okay? That's it, so you can put that in your calculator. You guys wanna do a little review, a little calculator review? All right, a little calculator review. I'm gonna do 14, choose four on my calc. You later. 
on my calculator. All right, so what I'm going to do here, how do I get the C symbol to show up? I go to math prob. Math. All right, I use the right arrow key to scroll over to prob, and I go down to NCR. Number, so I want 14, choose 4. Enter. 1001, okay? Let's also do it by hand, okay? These are more fun to do by hand. So I get 14 factorial divided by 4 factorial times 14 minus 4 factorial. So that's just the formula for it, doing it by hand. Okay. So I get 14 factorial over 4 factorial times 10 factorial. How do I simplify? What is 14 factorial over 10 factorial simplified to? 14 factorial divided by 10 factorial. What does that simplify to? 14 times 13 Yep, exactly. So on the top, I'll have 14 times 12, uh, 13 times 12 times 11 times 10 times 9 times 8 times 7, dot, dot, dot. On the bottom, I'll have just 10 factorial. So just 10 times 9 times 8 times 7, dot, dot, dot. All of this stuff will cancel. I'm just going to have 14 times 13 times 12. Okay. Isn't there another four factorial? Yeah, uh, there's no, we can't really do anything with that. So it's just uh, 14 times 13 times 12 times 11 times, times, just times 11, right? All over four factorial. So yeah, this would be a calculator one. I wouldn't expect you to do that by hand. Anyone know 14 times 13 off the top of their head? One eighty-two. <laughs> if I were rich, I'd get I'd get like a ton of gift cards from like Costco, and I would just like give them out for like people. Just like that'd be awesome. It's like for a twenty-dollar gift card, for a twenty-dollar Dunkin' Donuts gift card. <laughs> what? She did. What are they supposed to do then? Are they just change? I do have extra clothes. I could change my play clothes, my work clothes, my not my work clothes, my play clothes. Oh. All right, we got six minutes left. What should we do? Yeah. I, I really appreciate that. Yeah. Oh yeah, I do want to see it. Freegy would? Right would be so fun. It'd be like, where's your lanyard now? Where's your lanyard, Mr. Right? <laughs> Who's laughing now? <laughs> All right, uh, A and B, sorry. You want three A and B, Kate? Yeah. Okay. So we've still got our eight boys and six girls, 14 total. How many different teams of two boys and two girls can be chosen? So we've got to pick two boys and two girls. What's the number? How many different ways can we pick two boys from the eight person boy group? Eight, choose two. Eight, C, two. And then how many different ways can we pick two girls from the six person girls group? Six, choose two. Right? This is because, yeah. And then I multiply them. That's the, that'd be the answer. Okay? Um, why do I do a combination here and not a permutation? Not because it's random. Order does not matter, right? The first person I pick has just as much authority as the second person, right? Order matters, that's permutation. That's permutation, yeah. Right, like if I'm going to pick a treasurer, right, I have eight choices for treasurer, but then after that, when we're voting for vice president, we only have seven, okay? Um, yeah, that's just how it works, okay? Um, yeah, cool. Sweet, good stuff, awesome. Wait, so a lot of these, we can just do this instead of having to do the stuff like this. Uh, like, what do you mean? From like 1D. Yeah, this, this is a little bit. We just like did it really well. Like, we like, I learned. What? This stuff like that? The bottom part? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, that's like the last year of the year. All right, guys, another review problem. How many different slates of officers are possible? Here we go. Of officers are possible if we're choosing a president, a vice president, a treasurer, and a secretary, an undersecretary. So I have 14 people to choose from. I'm going to choose four of them, right? But now the order matters, right? The person who gets picked first, right? Um, the person who gets picked first, they're going to have a special role, a different role from the second person who gets picked, okay? So when order matters, what do I do? So it's going to be 14 per mute. It's, um, so if you remember combination, I'm going to write out combination. Combination is 14 factorial over 4 factorial times 14 minus 4 factorial. Um, permutation is the exact same, just erase the 4 factorial. Yeah. All right, so it stinks that we didn't get any more notes done today, but we'll catch up. If anything, I'll just give you a video over the weekend. <laughs> you guys want to have a study session at Rob? Oh, I'm definitely digging for dinosaurs. Yeah, that's it. Thank you for your attention.